Hey, welcome back everybody. Started recording right away because we got a little blue moon action. And uh let's just like clear clear a little space out. These are hard mode anyways. You guys don't play around. Somebody sniped Bia over there. Who's sniping Bia? Hey! Well, there wasn't much I can do there. Do you get throwing stuff from this? I don't remember. We're gonna see though. But uh you know, I had to just I was gonna set up some things, but it's all good. And you know, I always wanted to just start an episode. But I did do a live stream, I got a little bit of building done, not a lot. And uh during that live stream I also talked about the god. And uh you know what I'm saying? Fuzzy carrot, that's what I'm saying. This is a cool mount, man. How often do I use this mount now? Not a lot. Not a lot, because I don't think I ever get it. Because, uh, you yeah, know, I got it during fishing. My phone just made a random noise. Didn't, like, there was no message or anything that appears. I feel like I said this before in the video. Was there, during the video, was it during the live stream? Maybe I didn't mention it at all. But, since ever since I updated my phone's iOS, it literally makes random noises. Like, random notification noises. You know, nothing's there. No app that's, like, making it do that. Well, maybe it is, but then I look through the fuck. I look through everything, and everything is like, oh, there's no notifications there. It's, your phone's just making fucking random noises. <laughs> Why? But it's fine. It's I like I like a uh, false hope. What the fuck is that? The omniscient what? Jabberwocky. I seen you guys on that dance show. All right, let's fuck this guy up. We're gonna use the I course spike core spear. Where yet? Zoom out for this. We're gonna use this because I like this weapon. That's why. Is he coming back down? Where's he at? He flies too damn far. Where are you? There you go. Don't fly that far. Like I have to wait. <laughs> hey. Oh, if I hit him with that, he's gonna at least poison the board. Come here. Come here. I'm trying to poison you. Look at the hits. Alright, we gotta use this. I don't wanna be behind this boss, mini boss, for an hour. Because of him flying underground and shit. Come on. Where yet? Yeah. No, I gotta use these. This is my favorite. The wrong weapon. That shit did work on him. Alright. Let's use the ball of flesh, actually. The ball of flesh is high key garbage. So, like, it does. It barely does damage. And then on top of that. It barely does damage. <laughs> so we'll be uh, getting rid of that one quick. I thought it was a little bit better than that, but uh, it's not. I core spear at least that uh, I think it penetrates. I can't really tell. It's really dark. Uh, it possibly penetrates. It looks like it penetrates, and then it gives a little debuff too. Like that's a win-win right there. I'll kill you with this. I'll kill you with this. Wait, that wasn't even anything to kill. That was like a projectile. Someone shot at me. Like, it's not fast. Maybe you're able to hold multiple. No, we're not, because we got multiple. In them. We're not able to hold multiple. That would have been what made it better. At least, like, three of them you can hold at once and throw. But I don't know. Mad Hatter. There he is. Good. That's a chill man right there. He's so goddamn chill. I don't know why his hat is so mad, though. But I, I don't know if we're getting any good throwing weapons from this or if there's even a possibility to get good throwing weapons from this. I'm kind of just stuck with this, so I think, I think I'm going to cut <laughs> until I'm done with this. Now look up if there's any throwing weapons I can get. Alright, so that is completed. And maybe like, what's that treasure bag? Don't worry about it for now. So let's look at some things. Forbidden Fragment I got during a stream. I know it makes a good weapon. Here it is. From Calamity. I feel like there's more though. I feel like there's more. No, that looks like that legit might be it. At least the power of the desert. Is that a boss or is that just desert? Activates the desert. I don't know. Makes you immune against strong wind. That's good. I'm like burping right now. Sorry. It's like it's like silent burp. So you know like silent fart. Uh so we need titanium. That's not that bad. That's not that bad, but obviously not easily accessible. I really need to get an AE system done. Don't worry. I've been playing a lot more, so hopefully I can get a lot more done. Let's bring this down here. There you go. So we can make stuff out of this. Lots of torches, apparently. 
uh but we need a mythro anvil so i'll hold on to that in here snow globe we're gonna use in the future this we'll hold on to that so let's i think it's about time guys that we met the god of this series now if you watch the live stream you might have you might have a little hint you might have a little hint you might have a you might have the whole answer actually but you know watch the live stream it don't matter because the gods are gonna get revealed but i recommend you watch the live stream we do a lot of do a lot of a lot of fun things the first time i live stream in a while so let's head over here and we're gonna peep the base first not the god the base first that's open that didn't look open here's uh here's the kitchen area they actually left their area and went over here i'm very surprised here's the kitchen area and then the cooking area below now i got radiators in everyone's room I'm trying to keep them warm because i'm a good person i always like my boys to be warm <gasps> that's hey the fuck are you doing uh so frostberry isn't that the item you buy from the traveling merchant? Alright, so, is that. It looks pretty good. Uh, if you don't know what I'm trying to make it, I'm trying to make it like a, uh, uh, what's it called? Like a research facility. I fucking hate the corruption. Crimson. Both. Both of them. So, uh, let's, now let's head over to where the god is. And if you guys have watched the beginning of this series, you know, you've learned a lot. Beginning of the series, not this series, but like beginning of the whole like orc story. You know, you know a good bit here. So let me let's zoom in here. And let's let's head over here. Here it goes. Alright, so excuse me, sir. Get out of here. But, uh, you got, you guys may know this person, know this God, this entity. If you watch since David, which was our mage orc, but you know, he's back in another world and, uh, he's ready to take control of the lands. And you now I'm here to help spread that control. influenced David and now he's influencing Nunderson and the reason why he's trying to influence influence Nunderson is he know he knows Nunderson is gonna have that David power so let's pop open this apology bag and uh, no I really thought this was for me but then I opened it and then this happened <clears throat> but look it's raining gnomes it's raining gnomes now i don't know how you actually get that apology bag but it's raining gnomes you guys know that gnomes were not placeable if you watch the past series gnomes were not placeable for the longest time and i complain about it a lot you know i made the gnome god what the fuck i just did one i made the gnome god and i expected like hey that apology is for me no it's for fury forge it's fine fury is a cool guy but uh, he wasn't the originator of the gnome god. He may have placed some gnomes in places. He had gnomes in his videos, but I'm the I'm the gnome god person. He, he paid tribute to the gnome god, dude. This is fucking terrible. Get out of here, gnome god. Protect me. Wait, he doesn't have his full power in this world. Back to what I was doing, whatever it was. Uh, we'll place Fury's painting down here. Kill, kill that. We'll place his painting down here under the gnome god. Because he's a gnome god supporter. So we'll have him close to the gnome god. Maybe I'll give it some extra oomph. Uh, give him some extra oomph. But as you can see, his gnomes are not laid out across the world. And that gave him power. That gave him a lot of power. So as we get through the lands, we're going to have to find the gnome council. You know, get all their, uh, get all their paint colors. And we're going to have to reestablish the gnome council. We're also going to have to reestablish some bases for the gnomes. So we're going to set up some camps for the gnomes. We're going to start above ground, work our way underground, work our way through biomes. You know, we'll get a couple areas here and there. Let me see if you, can you craft the apology? No. So it must be a drop from somewhere. That or you just spawn it in. So gnome god, 
I will I will give you this for now. Oh man, this is so good. They're able to be placed. I'll give you these guys for now. We also don't have the spirit, the known spirit. Uh that's that's a one time thing. David has that. We're gonna keep that over there. That's home base. That's home base where David's at. So we're not gonna do anything with that. For now. Let's let's go ahead and try and get like an accessory or an armor set. Maybe go mining. Oh, I know what we have to do. Are we close? Yeah, we're close. I know what we have to do. Loud ass motorcycle. Y'all hear that? Uh, we're gonna break some of the altars because I do need to get those ores. And we already did fight a boss this episode, and then we met a god. Like, what? What more can you ask for in an episode? Meeting a god and fighting a boss. Like the Jabberwocky is a boss and mini boss, I guess. No, it's not a mini boss. Actually, I don't know. It might be a mini boss. But usually when I see health bars, no, some mini bosses have health bars. But uh, I would prefer that the mini bosses had a different health bar than the bosses. But it's all good. It works out in the end, you know? We'll keep that one. I do not mean to break these walls. Uh, so we got Palladium, Mithril. Adamantite. Okay. Palladium Mythro Adamantite. Okay, so that's not bad. We got like two OGs and then we got a, a newbie. 1.2 newbie. That's when the other the other ores came out, right? Like 1.2? There's some Mythro right here. Look at that. How nice. What the fuck is that thing? It's just a head. Just a head. Alright. We got another Icor Spike Core. I don't need any more Icor Spears. It's not a material for anything. So it is not needed. Cannot mine palladium. Like straight up. Cannot mine palladium. I can make this from here. Like I should yeah, okay. I should be able to, because this pickaxe and the molten one have the same power. Thank God for that. So we'll just grab some palladium. Sorry if I keep on sniffling. I don't know if I was earlier, but my nose is like runny all of a sudden. <laughs> Give it a good Alright. Ooh. Like low key hurt. All right. Um. Let's check over here. What the fuck is this? I don't see any more palladium or or uh, altars. Might be one down here. I doubt it though. Yeah, I don't see nothing. I don't see nothing. Hey, you know what we can do? Nut on my face. All right. <laughs> so we're gonna make use of this potent extract. How long does this last? Twenty seconds. All right. Let's see if we can spot some palladium with this. We're just gonna sip on that bitch. Sip on it. So instead of going down by like a whole number, if we use another one, it would go down to seven. It'd go down to seven point five. Cause we're just sipping on it. Little sips. I wish I could do that. That would save me money. Saving money is always good. It's always good. Uh, I'm not seeing any. I guess some would be over here. I see adamantite. See adamantite. That's about it. Oh, this is a wizard. What the fuck? I hate these enemies. Get out of here, you ice clasping bitch. What is that? Ancient ice chunk. Summon damage. Oh shit, look at that. Shout out, Lark. Young Lark. Don't kill him. What the fuck? Fuck off. Don't kill him. I need him. Not really. Need his crystal ball. Alright. We'll pwn next track. There's eyeballs everywhere. <laughs> Whole lot of eyeballs. Mm, not seeing anything over there. Ah, bitch. Where the hell did he come from? Got a goddamn bazooka down here. Get out of here, bazooka bubblegum ass bitch. Is there some over there? Oh, there's some. Nope, oh, never mind. I'm tripping. There's just shit that's red. I see you. Not like the enemy from Juice Mod. But this guy, I see you. Is he taking damage from being down there? You get out of here. You hurt. Come over here. Thank you. You got the good old Bangkoks. Back Bangkok. Back Nukanukas. Back Nukas. How do you, I don't know. Is there, an, is there an official way to pronounce it? I always said Bangkoks because it sounds, it sounds different. I'd say unique, but... You know, that's the name of a city, right? Is Bangkok a city? Whatever, I'm trying to bang some cock. I seen, I seen, I seen something. I seen, 
Nith something. Prismatic lens. Oh, sweet. Ranged attacks. I've been seeing a whole lot of ranged stuff this playthrough. But I'm a thrower! So stop it. Give me more throwing stuff. You know it was a nice addition? The, the i -Corp. Get, get out of here. This thing. The i -Corp spear was a nice addition. That was a nice throwing thing. So you drop more of them. You can do it. We have proof that you can do it in the i -Corp spear. Drop more of them. I just don't see. It's very orange is what it looks like. But there's a lot of very or orange things in the layer we're at. It may not be the easiest finding palladium. It doesn't matter. We just need palladium so we can, you know, get the pickaxe and go to the next one. That's how you do ores. Probably easier if I fished. I should have fished. I probably, yeah, I probably should have did that actually. That probably would have been the way to go. It's all good. Can I get out of here without getting, like, penetrated? Because, uh, that would be very nice. That would be very, very nice. There's a lot of enemies. You know, I use that wall of flesh thing. After you kill it, you know, you can up the spawn rates. Uh, AK, prepare to cry? Was that prepare to cry or was that prepare to die? I don't know which one it was. An original calamity. An old calamity. Original calamity. Uh, is that some? No. I'm not seeing too much down here. Man, chill out with that. Whatever the fuck you're doing, it's not working. I'm just, I'm just trying to help him out. I'm not even trying to like. Oh, here we go. We found. Him. I'm just trying to help him out. You know, don't, don't waste your powers just making. You know, like it ain't even doing nothing. Whole lot of damn spiders get out the way. I need to use this potion. This potent extract. See a whole lot of none. Yeah, there's a whole lot of none. Like not oh wait. Hold up right there. Bottom right. Spotted. Alright. We're gonna mine all this. Fuck. We're gonna mine all this. See if I can craft some crazy throwing weapons out of it. If not, we will we will praise in the gnome god one more time and then we will end off this episode. Alright. Palladium 36. These spider frames we're gonna need a lot of because look we can make kunais and we can make corrosive beakers. Very useful. So let's see. I was hearing like train noises, sorry. Um let's see what we can make. Palladium point, 52 throwing damage. This is the chainsaw which stacks up to four. Javelins, 55. Let's see the speed. Average speed, fast speed very fast speed 60 damage from calamity okay there's some good things in there but uh i think the pickaxe is gonna be the way to go honestly so that's that's really it there i think we're just gonna go pickaxe and maybe we'll pick up some weapons to fight a boss next episode but let's give praise to the gnome god oh gnome god get the fuck out of here I'm trying to <laughs>